Larson, Rennick, Almendinger are able to outrun him. Larson was looking good. He was almost a tenth of a second ahead. Almendinger still not four tenths of a second behind. Larson lost that advantage that he had. quickest on that lap. Here's Bell about to cross the stripe again. Larson, much like everyone, just loses to Denny Hamlin through the bus stop carousel. The William Byron's next. You see him uh, 14 one hundredths in the green exiting the essence. So now his turn for this bus stop carousel complex that Denny Hamlin seemed to have mastered on his lap. Little slide there through the bus stop, and he was hovering there as he entered the carousel. He's close. Oh, he's got a track. He, no, it goes away. I mean, Denny Hamlin's trip through the bus stop in the carousel, so impressive. McDowell also was in the green, goes heavy in the red in that same area of the racetrack. Well, I think the only person, the only person who predicted this was Brad. Well, he took all ten cars. Well, that's what I mean. He was the only person that predicted it. As we see Reddick sliding through the bus stop as well. And he's going to be the last one. No, the Hamlin goes out and improves his time. Just to prove Oh, my goodness. Hamlin a was on a lap, and he went out there and went to a 10.39. So he didn't run one. He ran two laps fast enough to sit on the pole. What a start to the weekend for Denny Hamlin, 40th career pole. And the news that he mentioned earlier uh, that wasn't McDowell related was that he hasn't got a contract signed for next year. So the question is, you know, what secures a contract for a Denny Hamlin, a driver who has been so dominant, uh, so many wins in his career, Denny Hamlin already 50 career wins that came at Pocono. And now another pole, 40 poles. Remember, Denny Hamlin won the pole at Chicago earlier, the first ever street race as we see Hamlin and Byron.